Well, hello world. Welcome to Raccoon Point Studios. I'm Sean Bombs, and today we're taking a look at Black Arts Toneworks Destroyer Fuzz Pedal. And I'm going to look over here because that's where I have the literature. Um, it's a Destroyer V2, and it's part Ritual V2 and part Oath. I think this side is the Ritual, and this side's the Oath. Whatever, you know? You have two switches here and a volume knob, and for mine... The volume knob only affects this sound. I don't know if that's the way it is for all of them, or if it's just mine, or if that's how the circuit goes because you're feeding this noisier, sagged type of fuzz into a fuller sounding fuzz, smoother sounding in comparison. Sorry I don't have any more information on that. This is all I could find on here. And I have the box somewhere, and maybe it had information in there. Maybe I should go find it. You know what? I'm going to go find it. All right, so I found the box. And as JHS likes to do, he's got the box. This is all that came. And then it was packed in here. And then I have the receipt. So, hmm. Thanks for your business, Holmes. You'll, you'll have to learn it. So, anyway... I'm sorry, I don't know which circuit is which, but I'd have to say that the, f the first one would probably be Ritual and the second one would be the Oath. I bought it after I saw a YouTube video, somebody playing it, and I thought it sounded awesome. And then I really uh, like the visuals on it. I like the artwork. The artwork's awesome. So a little bit about that intro song that I just recorded. Superior Drummer, Black Metal Kit. The guitar was this Jaguar HH through a Marshall JVM 410 Universal Audio Aux with a Marshall-like cab. Um, and then for the bass, I actually used the Ampeg SVT3 Pro that my wife uses, and she plays bass if, the, if you're new to the channel. So let's get into some tones. other sound then I'll combine them and then I'm gonna bring in some friends okay I mean as far as other pedals I don't have any friends just my guitar and my pedals all right <laughs> lick for the day now I'm gonna put both of them on but I'm gonna start with the first sound then add that noisier sound to it okay
just want to show you what the noise is. I think my favorite thing about this pedal is the fact that these eyes light up. Evil AF. All right. So now let's um, scoot this guy over and this guy over. So this volume knob only works for this side. I'm going to dial that back and then put them both together and see if that cleans that up and if we can hear the delay better. It's pretty crazy. I'm gonna to try to keep it at that same setting, but pull my volume on the Jaguar back. See if that helps. that sounds pulled back on the volume knob. It's crazy how much of a difference that was. Let's see what it sounds like dialed back like that without this delay in. So I wouldn't say it cleans up 
what most people would call nicely, but for the kind of stuff I like, it cleans up nicely. <laughs> if that makes any sense. All right, so now I'm gonna do the cloud burst. I'm gonna use it as a swell because I did try it when I recorded that intro song um, with typical settings and it did not sound good. So I'm just gonna use it how I used it in the recording of that song. <laughs> Alright, so now I have them switched up and we're going to try the Space Echo and I think you'll notice that it actually works better. the other sound. It's almost like a dynamic delay. It's uh, not letting the delays come past whatever that is in that circuit. And then as soon as I stop playing, the delays come up. All right, now I'm gonna pull the volume knob back on that same sound and see if it cleans up a little bit and lets the delay through more. So now we're going to do both of them with that sound. You get the same thing that you got with just this uh, oath circuit in there. Um, so I'm going to pull the volume knob back again, like I did earlier in the video.
it's a lot to deal with. So you have to be, you know, super aware of your settings and your amp and where you're standing. So if you're doing that live, different places are going to have different feedback, different stuff's going to happen, different amounts of noise that can creep into your amp depending on the venue, you know, or small club or basement party. So let's try the cloud burst. And here we go. Just for reference of the sound I have right now. Turn it up a little bit. So there you have it. I mean, the cloud burst is really, it can only do one thing with this pedal, I feel. Um, the cloud burst going into this pedal is definitely noisier than the space echo going into it. And it's, you know, it has elongated trail instead of just like a syncopated trail, like a delay, you know, a delay does. Um, so that's probably why it's just like, pushing the noise through it and um i mean this thing is just noisy it says it in the literature it's going to be noisy and that was the one thing that i noticed first when i started using this pedal um is that it, you really have to be careful what you pair with it um because of that noise it's a great pedal it's awesome at what it does and um if you're into that that kind of sound then you know it's great um but if you're doing you know more uh shoegaze kind of stuff where you might be using it with delays and reverbs and stuff like that it has some limitations i would say um but that depends on on you and what you uh, on what you like um if you like it a little bit noisier like that then phew, this thing's awesome um, but if you're looking for more pristine um, fuzz, pristine fuzz, you know, that's a funny, funny term, but if you're looking for something that goes into a delay or reverb really nice, like the, uh, green big muff does, then, uh, then you might want to get that. But if you want some gritty, 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 this is gritty and it looks awesome. I mean, come on, man. Look at these eyes and the sound. So if you want to piss off your bandmates, this is the pedal for you. Thanks for sticking around. Like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.